Hey guys, I wanted to show how I'm putting the fringe on my wrap. And after that, I want to show you um, this uh, hair twister and show you what I think would be fun to do as a um, an alternate for just plain fringe. So we're going to start by putting some of these on here. You go in from underneath, from the outside. If you want this knot to be on the top, so I'm going to bring you in a little bit more. So there's, it, it comes out having a knot in it. You want to keep them all consistent. So whatever it is you choose to do, whatever way you choose to do it, do them all the same way. But see how this pulls in there's going to be like the little knot edge right there that to me is the right side if that's there's a right side to a woven shawl or scarf or wrap um really isn't the right and wrong side but i like to keep them all the same so we're just going to go down here and do a few of these and then get the twister out and show you the twister it's by conair um, it's made for twisting hair so instead of braiding your hair you twist it instead um, I'm not affiliated with them at all I just uh, had heard about doing this a while ago and I thought I'd um, check it out and show you guys what I learned okay all right, so those are there. Let me get some white ones done here. This is my um, my wrap that I, I started a couple months ago, but then I ran out of yarn, and um, we went into lockdown because of this awful virus going around. And I finally got the last of my yarn and just finished it up. And so, here we go again. I can start showing you some more videos. Okay. This white one's sort of an alpaca acrylic blend. Kind of fuzzy. But it's real soft when you take it off the loom. Alright, here we are again. I just put a few of these strands on here. So I can show you how this works. So let me uh, adjust the camera a little bit for you. There we go. All right, so this is what I picked up at this at uh, Amazon. Quick Twist by Conair. It's for for doing these kind of twisties on your in your hair. It's really kind of interesting little gadget. Um, you do need to have two AA batteries, which they, um, don't, don't supply. Get it out of here. This is, um, if you do pick up, oops, if you do pick up one of these, just know that they have this little bitty screw right here, and they forget to tell you that to open this battery compartment and it was really in there tight but we figured out how to get that there's two AA batteries in there and then these buttons you push up see this little thing here that's where you put your yarn under and then these two are going to twist independently if you do it on your hair you do that and then you take the whole thing and there's an arrow right there and you're going to twist it against itself. But I found with yarn, you don't have to. So I'll show you what I what this does. Let's just take... Um, let's see. These are two. We want two of each. So we want to make sure. Two, 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 two to oh good okay pull those aside for now i'm gonna take one of the white and one of the the it's called um 
aloe or something like that. It's kind of a gray. All right, so we're going to push this up. Oh, go in there. Okay, and then you make sure it's tight. All right, and this is going to make some noise. So you're going to push this button. So you see what it's doing? Okay, let's see where I'm at. Because it's yarn, if you let go, you can kind of see how it's doing the twisties. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it here, lift up on the little buttons. And I'm going to hold it out here and tie a knot right about there. Okay, I'm tying a knot in the end and then, and then you let it go and you let it wind up on itself. You see what happened there? Here, I'll bring it in a little. Kind of interesting. Um, you do it in twos, so you're gonna have to go two, two, and then two, and then those two. What I'm doing is just I'm just pulling the two colored ones so you guys can see the different the what's happening. Okay, so we're gonna use these two. Put those aside. I'm not sure how this is gonna work on the whole project. Okay, so. On here, we gotta open, open this little guy. Get one of them on there. Open this little guy. Get him in there. Okay. And I'm gonna push the button. Here comes the noise. Okay, so I usually go about 20 rounds. You can kind of see it already trying to make it the twisties. So I'm going to hold it right about, oh, right about here. Lift, lift it up, lift it up, pull them out, and try to tie a knot. I could always readjust the knots later, but you need to have something to hold the twist. Where's the other end of it? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, I lost the end. Hold on. Okay, there. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then you just kind of let it go. This one didn't do it as well. See, because I didn't, I didn't twist it long enough. So I will need to take it out. All right. Uh, let's take out my knot. So maybe I need to go more than 20. I was trying to make them even, so I was counting it. You know, one, two, three, four as it goes around. I don't think that's going to work that way. All right. There. Oh, I just kind of made a mess of that one. Let's go to another one. Okay, those two are going to be together. Those two are going to be together. Those two, okay, let's do, let's try these two right here. Here, let me move up a little, there we go. Okay, let's try these two together. And, okay, so we get our ends. One in there. One on this side, see the little thing? Okay, we're on there. All right, usually you'd hold it all the way out, but since I'm kind of, Hunkered under the camera. It's kind of difficult. Okay, so here comes the sound again. Two, three, four, five. Okay, that was about 30 ish. 
I'm starting to see it happening all the way down here. So let's try one, two, three, four, five. Okay, see it's getting it's getting really tight right here. Okay, so we're going to hold it right here, let go. Try to get the ends kind of kind of even if you can. Whoop, I'm looking not. Not, and then you kind of let it go. Well, I don't know about this thing. What do you guys think? Um, we're gonna back up a little. It didn't seem to want to do it on this one. Maybe I just need to go farther, huh? It looks kind of cool. Let's see. This one worked out pretty good. See that one? So anyway, I just wanted to show you my new little gadget. I'll be working with it, and I will let you see the final results a little later when I finally figure out how much twist to put in these to make it work. See, this, this one's just kind of a mess here. The... The thing is that yarn has its own twist to it. So you want to go with that twist and not against it. If you go against it, it's going to unwind it. And you're going to end up with, you know, like these are going to all separate. So it's going to be a mess. But since this is going to the right, like most yarns are going to the right, you could do this yourself and just twisty it. Twist one. And hold it and then twist another one and hold it and then actually go opposite with both of them and they should wind together that's the concept of this whole little gadget to do on your hair okay so you could kind of do it on your own take a long time anyway thanks for watching guys I'll get back with you in a little bit when I have the results. Thank you. 
Okay, I finally finished it. Look how pretty it came out. What do you think of that? It really makes the the yarn shine if you have any kind of luster in your yarn. Um, it really is kind of cool, except that the hardest part really is to get the knots at the right length because each yarn, when you twist it, I mean, I was trying to count um, how many times you went around on each color. Some were more than others. Um, didn't always come out exact. And then you try to go back and even up your knots so that they're somewhat even. Um, that's probably the hardest part of it. Um, but I really like it. What do you think of that? Okay, so let's not go too fast. So it'll make you, make you dizzy. Here's the other end. I think it came out really pretty. We'll see when I get it off of here um, if it makes the the wrap look better or funky. I don't know. I've never tried this on a wrap before, so um, we will find out. So what I'm going to do is pull it off of the loom and then I'm going to slip stitch the long edges. And then we'll be all finished. We'll get right back with you. hard to get started sometimes.
Well, we finished the wrap. We have a beautiful edging on here now. Once I figured out how to get the twisting tool to twist the right amount, it comes out wonderful. Thank you so much for following along. I appreciate your subscribing to me. Please give me a thumbs up and we will see you on the next project. Bye for now.